What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're talking about Scream 6 in this video here again today. Scream 6 had another block of filming that took place yesterday. And it's of course having another block of filming happening today right now as we speak I guess while I'm recording this. Now uh, shout out to Craven Something Scary really quick because he did a video that went into a image that was shared with him from uh, an individual named Chris who also happened to share the, the image with me as well. Now this image you see here on your screen is rumored to be the home of Gail Weathers, I guess, in Scream 6. It's not confirmed. Uh, it might not be. So if it's actually not, don't be surprised, but it could be. So the stuff outside of the house, like the jack-o'-lantern and, you know, just all of that stuff, has people thinking that, okay, we're going to be set in Halloween, have a Halloween-themed-based Scream movie. Now, I'm not against that. The only thing I'm now thinking about is, okay, well, how, depending on certain shots, couldn't certain things reveal that we're not in the fall, which could then, of course, make some people say, okay, I'm not completely sold on the fact that this is set in Halloween, but, you know, some of us like me will still suspend our disbelief, but there are going to be certain aspects of it, depending on, let's say it actually is set in Halloween. The, depending on certain shots they decide to do or not do it could give away that we're not set in the fall it's just a, something to consider it's nothing wrong with it being set in the fall but certain things about the scenery and with the time of year you're shooting could reveal that you, you're not set in the fall i'm sure they could find a way to make it work of course but uh like the halloween movies do of course but the other thing i want to talk about with a screen based movie set in the fall or set around Halloween time because Craven mentioned this stuff as well and it's completely true you could have Ghostface feeling a lot more bold getting to walk around in the open because you could have a lot of people that are wandering around dressed as Ghostface from the Stab series and you could have an actual Ghostface killer who's not trying to walk around uh, being a costume to go trick-or-treating they're looking for victims you could have a scene that's kind of mirroring what we got in Halloween 2018 when Michael Myers came home to Haddonfield and, you know, got to wander around because it was Halloween night and, you know, no one's going to think anything of it. So you could have something like that go down in Scream 6. Maybe Gail gets a knock on her door from, oh, uh, this would actually be kind of maybe something that triggers something emotional in her. Well, let's say, and I don't know why this would happen, but uh, maybe just some people who are fans of the Stat franchise and know that Gail Weathers lives there. Let's say three friends show up at her house dressed as her, get dressed as her, Sydney, and Dewey. And then, of course, seeing someone dressed as Dewey could cause an emotional aspect of her to be unleashed during that moment. And she might lash out at the trick or treaters. I'm just thinking about something that they could do that would probably be a cool thing to see on screen. You could have something like that go down. Maybe she gets a knock on her door from Ghostface, who then like pushes her in to the door when she opens it uh thinking it's a trick-or-treater and of course nobody's gonna blink an eye because they uh, most people on halloween think everything is a joke it's a prank so ghostface knocks on her door kicks in the door or pushes her in locks the door behind them and then gail has a chase scene or some type of horrific sequence go down in her house uh, she doesn't have to die here but you know you could have something iconic go down like that if this is her house uh there's a lot of things that you could get away with you could have people walking around dressed as other characters Wes Craven is responsible for like Freddy Krueger you could have other horror icons wandering the streets or people wandering the streets in costumes of other horror icons there's so much you can do with a screen movie set in Halloween time uh, the only thing again I'm thinking about is if they can actually if they might lose some people on selling them that this is set in Halloween time because of certain things with the scenery that could give away okay we're not set in the fall but People like me and many others who are going to still suspend their disbelief will be all on board for something like that. And, you know, we could also have I'm, I'm now thinking if you have the movie set on Halloween, would the whole movie be set on Halloween night or would only a certain part of it be set on Halloween night? Because the other thing people were talking about, like I mentioned in another video, was that maybe this is set in wintertime because someone apparently was seen on set wearing some type of Christmas ornament. It doesn't mean we're going to be set in Christmas. And the only reason I'm, I'm saying that is uh, the biggest reminder of we don't need to be set around Christmas for people to wear Christmas stuff is Karen <laughs> from Halloween to 2018 and Halloween Kills with her choice of attire she chose to wear so 
You know, there's so many different things you could do if the movie is indeed set on Halloween night or if it's set in winter, a ghost face attack in the snow. You know, so many different things I know people would love to see, uh, like some fresh fresh things you could do in the in the screen universe that have not been done before uh seeing radio silence take some risk and throw their own unique stuff into this series and get people excited about a screen movie because they see some things maybe highlighted in a trailer or a teaser that we get that shows that this is going to be unlike anything we've ever gotten before in the scream series so while you may have lost nev campbell you know certain things like that could easily reignite interest because people will see Oh, they're they're doing a lot of different stuff here. Okay, I guess I'll go give it a sh I'll go give it a shot. So we'll see what ultimately ends up happening. If that's Gail's house, we'll see if that ends up being true or not. As far as again Gail herself, I do expect her to have a big role going into this. Just going off of the basis of earlier things that we know saw online with IMDb. Not that it was ever verified about her getting involved after a past survivor is killed. Not again. Not that that's verified. And, you know, being set in New York, we know she lives in New York. She has a show that she's a part of in New York. And it seems like with this whole New York thing, the ghost face motive this time around will have something to do with Gail. It's something that I've been thinking about ever since I saw that there was a chance that Gail could be the focus of this story. Not that she'll be more of a focus than the Carpenters, but when we're not dealing with the Carpenters, it seems like Gail is going to have a very heavy role to play in this movie compared to any other movie she starred in from the past screen movies similar how dewey had a pretty hefty role of of significance i'll say in screen five it seems like we'll get something like that with gail in screen six and then we'll get something like that hopefully with sydney in screen seven um uh, doesn't mean that either of them have to die and no, i'm not saying that uh but I'm just thinking about all the things that Gail could do to kind of show everyone that's doubting her that she's just as much of an important final girl to this series as Sydney Prescott is. Because again, like I said in my last video, there's a lot of people that are doubting Gail. So I can't wait to see her hopefully silence a lot of her doubters. But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. Do you think that we'll be set in Halloween time? Would you even like to see that? If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notification that you never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.